WWNC is a radio station in Asheville, North Carolina, United States. It transmits at 5,000 watts of power. It currently has a news-slash-talk format and is affiliated with Fox News Radio. WWNC is under the ownership of iHeartMedia Inc. WWNC, whose call letters stand for Wonderful Western North Carolina, signed on the air on February 21, 1927, as Asheville's first radio station, broadcasting from the Vanderbilt Hotel. Other broadcast locations have included the Flatiron Building and the Citizen Times Building. In its early days, WWNC, started by the Asheville Chamber of Commerce, provided weather and road reports, and music at night. Jimmy Rogers was among the stars who performed on the station. On October 10, 1931, WWNC changed its network affiliation from CBS to NBC. On September 10, 1936, President Franklin Roosevelt spoke at McCormick Field. WWNC broadcast the speech. The first time the world heard Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys was February 2, 1939, at 3.30 p.m. when the group played a 15-minute segment on Mountain Music Time. At the time, WWNC was an NBC affiliate, owned by the Asheville Citizen Times. Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys played the daily 3.30 to 3.45 Mountain Music spot until April 1, 1939, when WWNC became a CBS affiliate and moved to the Asheville Citizen Times building. At one time, the station was home to Amos and Andy, Fibber McGee and Molly and Jack Benny. In 1938, WWNC was one of the many stations broadcasting Orson Welles' The War of the Worlds. Before 1969, when the format changed to country music, WWNC played middle-of-the-road music. In the days before FM became popular, WWNC was sometimes the most popular station in the United States with an Arbitron share over 40% sometimes as high as 50% for Scotty Road Armor. It was the top station in the Asheville market as of 1994 and had been for many years. In 2002, WWNC changed its format from country music to news slash talk, taking over talk shows previously heard on WTZY. In 2004, Road Armor retired as WWNC morning host after more than 40 years in the position and 50 years as a station employee. In 1979, he had 56% of the audience according to Arbitron, more than any other local radio personality. His theme song was Carolina in the Morning. On June 18, 2010, many of the former DJs had a reunion. They included Road Armor, Frank Bird, Wiley Carpenter, John Rodden, John Anderson, and Randy Houston. Rodden now produces the morning show. Western Carolina University broadcast a program in December 2010 on WWNC recreating Wells' 1938 broadcast of A Christmas Carol, including Arthur Anderson, who at age 16 performed with Wells in the original broadcast. On January 23, 2012, Pete Kaliner, who worked at WBT in Charlotte, North Carolina, from 1999 to 2011, took the afternoon slot. Sean Hannity moved from 3 p. m. back to 6 p. m where his show had been since Matt Minnan left the station. Kaliner said his show would feature a wide-ranging discussion of all things in Western North Carolina. Thanks for watching.